Hi everyone, this is uh, Sarfraz from Aristotle Prep and we are looking at question number 11 from the OG13 critical reasoning chapter. Uh, so the stimulus says, the Maxilux car company is designed for its new luxury model, the Max 100, included a special design for the tires that was intended to complement the model's image. The winning bid for supplying these tires was submitted by Rapco. Analysts concluded that the bid would only just cover Rapco's costs on the tires, but Rapco executives claim that winning the bid will actually make a profit for the company. And this is interesting because even though the amount that Rapco is charging for each tire just about covers the cost of the tire, the Rapco executives still believe they will make a profit. Uh, how will this happen is pretty much what the question will ask you. The question stem uh, says which of the following if true most strongly justifies the claim made by Rapco's executive. So let's go through the options. Uh, A says in any Maxilux model, the spare tire is exactly the same make and model as the tires that are mounted on the wheels. That is fine but the problem is Rapco is hardly making any money on these tires. So how will the, where will the profits come from? A doesn't tell us. B says, Rapco holds exclusive contracts to supply Maxilux with a number of, uh, with the tires for a number of other models made by Maxilux. That's very good. That could be a strategic reason why they agreed to supply these particular tires at cost price. But the question remains, how will they make profits? I mean, how will they make profit uh, on, uh, on these tires? How will the winning bid uh, result in a profit for the company? That uh, we don't know because Rapco already holds these contracts. Had it been that because it won this particular bid, it will win some new contracts which will make money for it. That could have explained, but it already holds these exclusive contracts. So then why, how will the profits come from? Um, C says the production facilities for Max 100 and those for tires to be supplied by Rapco are located uh, near each other. So maybe it will save you costs, but that must have already been accounted by the analysts when they explained that uh, or when they claimed that uh, the price quoted by Rapco will just about cover the cost of the tire. So it doesn't help. D says, when people who have purchased a carefully designed luxury automobile need to replace a, a, a worn part of it, they almost invariably replace it with a part of exactly the same make and type. But this... Uh, could be the answer because it what it basically tells us is that when these people have to replace the tires they will only or most likely want to replace it with Rapco tires and that is when Rapco could probably make money and make profits so it looks like a good option I'll look at E also E says when Maxilux awarded the tire contract to Rapco the only criterion on which uh, Rapco's bid was clearly ahead of its competitors bids was uh, price maybe that's the reason they won it but how will they make profits doesn't tell us. So D definitely is the answer. Even though uh, to some of you it might look a little far-fetched, the point is there is no other option that comes uh, close uh, to justifying the claim made by the executive. So uh, D definitely has to be our answer. On a difficulty scale of 1 to 5, I would give this question something like a 2.5, maybe even a 3. Because uh, yeah, I mean D uh, for some people uh, is a little far-fetched. It's not as straight as you know the answer choices in some of the other questions. So. Uh, with that, uh, uh, have a nice day.